Okay, so uh, we'll go ahead and open the public hearing of the Zoning Board of Appeals. Um, and there's really no one to introduce ourselves here to the two, um, but the notice of this hearing was published on April 25th and May 2nd. Um, we always start the hearing with uh, an opportunity for the public to have public comment not related to a pending application. Seeing nobody, we'll move on to the first item on the agenda, uh, which is a request for a special permit for a larger wall sign, uh, more than 100 square feet or 10 percent, for a plan of fitness at 138 North King Street, Northampton, map ID 18 one I mentioned when this was published. We don't have. Oh, are you here for a zoning board of appeals? Yes, I am. Okay, we just opened the hearing. Oh, um, and this is for um, Planet Fitness 138. Yes, okay, good. Stay right there. Oh, um, so we uh, we've opened the hearing. We've had we've asked for public comment. There's nobody here. I'm David Bloomberg, and I think it. voting members would be Sarah Northrop and is it Bob? Is Bob? No, go ahead, Maureen. Okay, and Maureen Scanlon. And uh, Carolyn Mish is here from the from the Office of Planning and Sustainability, providing staff support. And uh, the only item on the agenda is the special permit application for the wall sign at Planet Fitness 138 North King Street. Notice of the hearing was published on April 25th and May 2nd. And uh, we'll ask you just to introduce your self name and address for the record and then a very brief description of the application because we have the paperwork and then we'll have a chance to ask questions. Okay. Okay. John Lamancy, 1163 Shed Hill Road in Stoddard, New Hampshire. Okay. I'm representing the sign company. Okay. For sign tech. And the application? Was I supposed to bring it up? Uh, just a brief description of what you're okay. asking for. Uh, Planet Fitness is moving into the former Staples uh, storefront in the Big White Plaza. And they want to utilize the same area that Staples had for the signage. For Planet Fitness. So, do, do you have sketches? Uh, I think we do at least in black and white, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Yeah, similar to what was there before when we Staples, channel letters internally illuminated, same, same concept. Okay, and it's the exact same size as before, but the reason there's a need for a special permit is because over 100 square feet. It's 100 yeah. over Actually, the letter height on Planet Fitness is a little bit smaller because there's more letters. Staples had less letters, so obviously the logo is quite a bit bigger. And and did Staples get an approval for their sign, or would, would I, the rule not apply then? No, no, no. I think this was bigger than the Staples because they oh. have that are spread out with a logo. So that's okay. what triggered it. I think Staples did come for a special permit okay. as well. So Staples. But when it's different, if it's different, yeah, then it's that's not like it's grandfathered. Right. They need they right. another special permit. Yeah. Um, okay. Any questions for the applicant from the members of the board? Yes. The uh, internal illumination. Um, I've been. Uh, consistently annoyed with things being too bright, unnecessarily bright. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, so I'm, I'm interested in the, the lumens. Uh, I understand that it's set way back from the main road, which it is, is it part is. of why it may be appropriate. Mm -hmm. uh, but with more letters uh, lit up, we're ending up with more light. So I'm interested in how you designed that. I don't have the exact. Uh, lumens lumen output for the leds and they, they are illuminated by leds um, the color temperature is 6500 is what we use which is fairly bright white these letters you have uh, black and white right yes. yes i'll throw some of these up there so you can actually well i'm interested in if the uh if the uh, color temperature can be brought down it will be brought down considerably because there's going to be a translucent film on the face of it so they're actually going to be purple staples lit up as a, a white letter yeah so you would see the 6500k temperature here you won't because it's going to have the translucent purple face on it can you explain that the transition purple base what is that this mean? purple the, purplish color oh that's a purple okay yeah yeah, yeah the letters the themselves are going to be purple the what staples had a, as a red background is going to be painted yellow by another contractor and the channel letters in people have they have a white light inside and a white face, but then we put a translucent film over it to get the PMS purple color. And is the um, PMS yellow also illuminated? No, no, okay. that's so a that's, painted background. That's a painted background. Yeah. When you say channel letters, does that mean that this, it's like a box and the sides are closed? Correct. The back and the sides mm -hmm. are built out of aluminum, makes a channel, and then the face is glass. Very good. So it won't be very bright, it won't be nearly as bright as uh, the staples. 
just because of the color itself, it's not white. And it's also set very good <coughs> way back in this plaza, facing basically the parking lot for Big Y. Um, mm -hmm. There's some residential houses maybe on the far side of the property, but, but there are also trees, I think, along there. Um, any other questions from the board? Uh, hours of illumination and hours in relation to hours of operation? I imagine they're going to shut the sign off when the uh, business closes. This location isn't open 24 hours, correct? Um, we would ask you that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I know they do have some locations that are open 24 hours. As far as I know, this is not one of them. So it would shut off when the business closes, like most signs should. And there's additionally uh, probably a street sign that you're not here for because of met code. So it met code, yeah. It's going on the existing um, pylon sign with all the, the multi-tenant sign. That's yeah, there. yeah, and that's already been done. We put a yellow background with the purple oh, letter so saying. There's that secondary street outside. Pardon me. There's that sec There's that. At least that drive by right on the street. So Correct. Right. Yeah, one of the tenant slots is, is theirs. Anything else? No. Bob, any questions? No. No. Okay. If if we think we have all the information we need from the applicant we can move to close the public hearing so moved and second Same. all in favor public hearings closed and a motion on the request for the special permit you want to pick up that on it sure i'll stand it do you need anything do you need this to be happy okay um i move to approve the request for a special permit for the larger wall sign wall sign larger than 100 square feet for planet fitness as described and listed in the uh, documentation um do i need to get the details of the map id etc no okay. just as the uh, conditioning conditions uh oh with the um expectation that the lights will only be on during operating hours with the assumption that it's not a all night 24 hours right but then that you used the word expectation it, it's you meant a condition and what happened well first of all why don't we have a second of the motion then discussion second okay, okay. and now discussion so um that kind of begs the question what happens right. if right. it is open are you How saying it can't be open 24 hours it, well you can just say that that it needs to close uh lights are off at the close of business and if they're not if they are 24 hours then they don't go off right is that, i guess that's what i wanted to clarify because right. right. um, i'm not sure i want to say to them they can't be open i'm not sure we can say they can't be open 24 hours right, right. that may be a coming trend for the people Working out at 3 a.m. So I guess I'm just asking, is that what you want to I don't see you know, a way to include anything on that. Right. Well, other than what Carolyn said, which is uh, it will be turned off when the business is closed. It, 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 that means if the business doesn't close, it doesn't get turned off, right? Right. Yeah. Right. I think we can say that. Okay. Or, I, do you, do I, you agree? I think that's reasonable. During, just during operating hours. Right. Yeah. Hours. Is that, does that work for you? Everybody? Yeah. Uh, um, that works for me. Do we have to? Yeah. Um, the I think the um, the the color um, the film on the channel letters is important to me. If if there wasn't going to be a film, or they started peeling off, or something, then then that six thousand Kelvin um, LED would be a real problem. It'd be you know a planet land spaceship landing pad out there in the big white parking lot the city has an ordinance for how more mm -hmm. much so it's got to fit thin now right? we don't have a restriction on color um, temperature now um, it's in the works so basically they can do anything they want unless we say no right or well, can we even say no well, the, the, the only the only restriction is illumines is on the, the illumination levels, but um, there's perception from color, temperature, of intensity. Um, that's different from the, the so measurement. So 
But the bottom line is you could, because it's a special permit, you could say it cannot exceed 3,000 or 4,000 K. But I think what Sarah is suggesting is that the, the film essentially brings that 6,500 K down. Mm -hmm. um, and when we and say as presented to the application, that would include the film. Right. That's right. how it was presented. Right. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, when they're building it is you don't know, you don't put up LEDs expecting you're going to have to change them anytime soon because they'll last forever. But even 5,000 Kelvin, 4,500 Kelvin, huh, those are really really bright blue. Those will those will keep. They will chase away nesting birds. They'll mess yeah. with all sorts of stuff. To, uh, get an ordinance that, so that we know even right. Carolyn, you say that they're working on said that ordinance? Baby. <laughs> You're looking at her. <laughs> yeah. You're awesome. <laughs> um, in anticipation of a Sorry. potential <laughs> ordinance, I wouldn't want to um, say yes to 6,000 and then a month we could have said yes to, you know, 2,000 or something, you know. You have the opportunity to do that anyway because it's mm -hmm. special permit. So it doesn't matter the ordinance is silent at this point. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you what, we, you know, the planning board has been working with 3,000 maximum for site lighting, and that's unfiltered, you mm -hmm. know, just sort of full lighting. Mm -hmm. Even though it's not in the ordinance, the planning board, had, when projects come forward, they say no, no greater than 3,000. Mm -hmm. There's been a push to drop that below that to 2,700. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the new ordinance for site lighting would be up to 2700 or and there's a whole change in technology a change in evaluation of how the that um mm -hmm. is measured the the warmness or blueness is measured yeah. so um it's not going to necessarily just hinge on color temperature um so uh, um but i guess so i think that you could say you know what start at 5000 with the film even if, well, you, if you wanted to well i'm thinking of something as an engineer i often put a performance spec on something saying that the effective brightness right. the effective right. color right. temperature right they can accomplish that with whatever with a, with a combination of whatever led and whatever thickness or color yeah. film different thicknesses of film have different light impedance they can Right. They can design because they yeah. know what they're doing. I don't. Yeah. Uh, but um, so maybe a performance standard saying that the effective brightness is that's what 2700 Kelvin. Mm -hmm. So the effective CCT um, Yeah. Yeah. Which is really it's not ours. It's yeah. it's kind of you know if, if and people don't see it there. I mean it just oh okay. yeah. There's not a problem with fish with it being invisible. It's I mean, I look at that yeah. every time I come on Big yeah. Y, and even without letters on it, it's noticeable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a great location. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if they were open all night, one yeah. on King Street is, yeah. if there becomes to be a growing market. Yeah. So does that mean there are two conditions, sign lights, um, shall only be on during operation operating hours, and the effective correlated color temperature shall not exceed 2700 that's Kelvin. my proposed amendment any thoughts David I'm fine with the concept I just I'm a little concerned about if we're if we're if this is something that's uh, not terribly practical for the applicant to adhere to but I think you're telling me that that really shouldn't be a problem well I think he knows his business so he yeah. can meet a meet an effective standard that would yeah. be yeah. pretty easy to measure in the field. Everybody's got these meters now. Yeah, working in museums where you have to light things for mm. the protection of the object, you know. Um, we take and bring things down a lot just mm. through screens and, mm -hmm. you know, what are they called? Cellulite, stuff like that. So, I guess, we, I guess I wish we didn't have to close the public hearing if we were going to get into this, but uh, um, but I don't I don't have a problem voting for such conditions. 
and and if um, if they have uh, an issue meeting that, then we'll hear from them. Right. Oh, well, it would be for it would be come back for an amendment mm -hmm. uh, if they can show us that it's not doable. It's not doable. It's not practical. And where do you get the twenty seven hundred? That's the temperature of the light. If you right. see, but where did you? Oh, put that. What, is that the one that, that Carolyn one mentioned that the planning board prefers? Well, that's a that's a target is uh, twenty seven hundred. Um, on large projects, I've been on uh, lighting parking lots. Um, it brought it down to twenty three or twenty five or twenty seven hundred. Um, and that's using shielded. That's not aimed out. That's aimed down. Correct. Which Correct. Is which is out. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming if the planning board uses 2700, it, it should, because I don't know enough about this, that, that it should be, re, that, that presume, I'm willing to presume that, that, that it's a reasonable level. It's not too onerous or stringent, but I honestly don't know, because I'm not familiar with this, these, these measurements. But, but you are, I am. and you're mm -hmm. saying that it's not an unreasonable one. Um, I don't believe so. Restriction. And, okay. and it's what the planning board apparently yeah. does yeah, generally. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with those two conditions. And also, so, I guess. Uh, so, do we have to take my motion off? No, I think I'm Carolyn no, just clarified what we're voting on. It's amendment. Amendment with an additional, an additional, additional condition. Yes, that, so, that additional okay. condition. Okay. Okay. I'm fine with two, you know, I'm heavily on Sarah's expertise. All right. I'll okay, so stamp I'll, it if needed. I'll, I'll, uh, so all in favor of the motion as amended with those two conditions, that's unanimous. So. Okay. Thereby all granted. All set. Or all set. Okay. Thank you. So just to make sure that I understand, the, the end result of the light temperature on the other side of the purple film, we want it to be less than 2,700. Or right. maximum of 27. Yeah. Or max. Yeah. Yeah. The, what did you say? The effective? The effective. The effective. So that if you was measure it, okay. if you're there with the meter measuring the color temperature, okay. that's the right. effect. That's then the Because the, um, for channel letters, they don't make anything below 4,500 because um, if you're putting that color through a translucent film, you want the color to be true. Mm -hmm. So if I was to take, let's say, a 27K light and put it behind the white, the white face and the purple film, it would effectively change the color. Yeah, but we're, I don't think we're saying that. So we're saying no. effective okay. on the other side of the film, on the, on the outside side. of the film. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm right. And, that, and, and I would sort of like the record to reflect that, that the plan, that's that's the standard planning board, or is that inappropriate, the planning board preferred. We didn't pick it out of thin air. Right. Um, so, so, all right. And so that's what they're moving towards with parking lot lighting too, having around 27K. That would be good, because you see people that buy LED bulbs for their house, like Home Depot, and you don't want your front porch light to be 6,500. Right. Horrible looking. Right. right. Okay, right. good. Thank cool. you. Good to know. Thank All you. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Have a good you night. Have, you too. We have some minutes from February 14th, just to go I could not find that message from I have it in the copy. Thank you. I'm going to not disappear on me. Uh, maybe I'll, find as many errors as you need. I'll email around a, a little uh, lighting study thing. A nice little, nice little article that was done last year. There was a guy. See, I don't know if this lumens and color, whatever you're talking about. Stephen, um, I, I forget what his name was. He used to come to all meetings and be a gadfly. Mm. And he lived on. Yes. He lived on Bridge Road. Across from the nurse. Oh, Seska. 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 Are we still on that? And you know, he wrote. He wrote up once. Once we have some issue, he wrote up this amazing, amazing thing that I still right. have. Mm -hmm. I still have it. Party if party you, you want to see it, because it's really. Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. For sure. If you want to set up, I move we close the meeting. Uh, first, we have to move motion oh, on, the, on the minutes. Just a motion to approve the minutes from February 14th, I think it was. No. Okay. I'll uh, make a motion to approve okay. the minutes February 14th. Second. 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 Bob, you want to second that one? 
I'm, 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 okay, yes. Okay, and all in favor, that's unanimous. <laughs> now, now I guess a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Okay, that's unanimous. Okay, all in favor, unanimous. Okay.